came very close to not even making this trip. I had so much going on that I didn't think I could afford five days away. In fact, 24 hours before this moment, I wasn't even planning on going at all. But here I was. The LHT is so close to home for me that I have the luxury of throwing my gear together and making a last minute, practically unplanned trip. And that's what this was. The plan was to hike the 70 miles from Seward to Ohio Pile. This would be my ninth through hike of the LHT. Even though I enjoy the company of others, my preferred method is solo. Late October can be unpredictable. One can almost be guaranteed of running into rain or even snow. Between these extremes, my hope is to walk through some sunshine and enjoy some color along the way. As I would soon discover, this trip would be full of color. My goal for the first day was to hike the 14 miles to the 271 shelter. The first two or three miles is a steady ascent to reach the top of the ridge. Take all of your wasted honor Every little past frustration The lowlands were blanketed with fog but the higher I climbed, the more I found the sunshine was poking holes through the canopy above, illuminating the forest and bringing everything to brilliant life. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. My excitement was building as my altitude increased. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. Say what you need to say. As I reached the ridgetop, I found myself wandering beneath deep blue skies with dashes of yellow, green, and red all around me. The forest was alive with color, both above my head and below my feet. At some point, I paused for a quiet lunch in a neighborhood eatery that I just knew wouldn't be too crowded. It was perfect. They don't require jackets, but I wanted to keep it classy. Say what you need to say. 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 Eventually, I reached the 271 shelters. After collecting water, making camp, and building a fire, I enjoyed a hot meal as I welcomed my first night on the trail. As early morning light crept into the forest, I began my second day. A hot cup of coffee helped rouse me after a peaceful night spent in my hammock. The morning came with a distinctive chill. I began walking with my rain jacket on to stay warm, though I would soon shed it. Had only 10 miles to walk today, but I was still anxious to get going. Even if your hands are shaking And your faith is broken Even as the eyes are do it with a heart wide open. Yeah. I followed the ridge top as I continued my southmost walk. The weather remained on the cool side, but it's still a perfect day for walking. As I entered Mystery Hill area, the closed forest began to open up a bit, revealing grassy fields that had surrendered their summer green for yellows and browns. Though my attention was constantly called by so much to see, the trail kept beckoning me to follow it. My 
My shortest day of hiking ended with a warm blaze. I set up my hammock in the late afternoon and waited for the eventual darkening of the autumn skies that would turn my day into night and my walk into rest. The backdrop of my third day began with a softly glowing sky that would soon light up my forested world. Every little pass frustration I take all your so As a transient on this mountaintop, I packed my belongings and began moving through what would become a most glorious day. I say what you need to say. I say what you need to say. I say what you need to say. As light showered down, my wooded playground came to life in a way that I'm not sure I had ever seen. Everything around me seemed new and intriguing. Sections that I'd walked through a hundred times before now seemed unexplored. At times I found myself seeing the forest around me as if it was for the first time. My senses were at times simply overwhelmed. Knowing you'd be better off instead if you could only say what you need to say. 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 I reached the Route 30 shelters early enough to set up my hammock and relax in a gentle breeze. From my comfortable perch, I took the time to watch colorful leaves burst free from the strong hands that had held them and take their flight to the carpet beneath me. It was the perfect way to end the day. Rain sprinkles chased me from my hammock before light. I took down camp quickly to be sure it was still dry as I tucked away my gear. I knew the heavy rain was coming, so I set out a little earlier than usual to stay ahead of it. I jumped off the trail during the mid-morning to a small deli market that is always hiker friendly. I already knew what I wanted, a red delicious apple. And it was both red and delicious. Seven Springs is the highest point of the LHHT. The fog was so thick I couldn't see the lodge at Lake Tahoe, which was my destination for lunch. I no sooner reached the lodge when the rain started. So while I ate lunch, I fired up my stove for some hot coffee. When lunch became a memory, I returned to the trail. The rain continued to fall, even hard at times. When I reached the shelter at 6.53, I was wet and almost shivering from the cold. Tonight, a fire would be essential. I had dry logs but no tinder or kindling. So with my knife, I began to shave off some first stage fuel. Second stage fuel then quickly yielded to the knife. wonder of it all was when I placed my fuel into the hearth. The glowing embers left by the shelter's previous guest began to smolder. With a little blowing, I had a roaring fire without ever having to light a match. Every little pass frustration 
After dinner, those leaping flames meant that I could dry out and warm up, guaranteeing that my night would not be a bad one. After dinner, the rain stopped and the storm clouds lifted. I walked out to my front yard to take in sun's fleeting grasp and to reflect on my final night in the woods. I say what you need to say. I say what you need to say. Today would be my long 18-mile day. I began it early with a hearty breakfast of oatmeal and coffee. Walking like a one-man army, fighting with the shadows in your head, living off the same old moments, knowing you'd be better off instead. My pack was noticeably lighter as I packed it for the final time, and then I set out for a high pile. My final push was cheered by the forest, and I felt like a hero parading through a colorful ticker tape reception. At Twin Lakes, I paused at a maple tree where I had previously napped on more than just a few occasions. I leaned into my old friend to absorb the breathtaking view of Autumn in her full glory. I stopped for my last lunch at one of my favorite places. Here the ambiance surpasses the food. I finished my hike as planned and eventually returned to my busy life a much better and relaxed man. I say what you need to say. I say what you need to say. I say what you need to say.